Hey, Gerardo, are you ready to go? Fury, the country's only inland cape. A place where the mighty Mississippi River turns a thousand tales. Lewis and Clark explored the banks of Cape Girardeau. Mark Twain wrote about it, and Ulysses S. Grant used it as a military base. And now, in the year of our bicentennial, we celebrate our past. We embrace today. We challenge the future. We're building bridges to new frontiers as a 2006 
engaged in city governance through 21 city advisory boards. Our voters overwhelmingly approved new sales taxes to improve city services, as well as upgrading equipment and salaries for our public safety personnel. Yeah. Like any other All-America city, Cape has had its fair share of challenges including the economic depression that had blighted the historic downtown area. Once the center of commerce and community activity, the district lacked a cohesive plan for preservation, promotion, and strategic vision. And the downtown district suffered. Yeah. And then, in July of 1999, city leaders formed an alliance known as Old Town Cape and re-energized the riverfront district by celebrating and preserving the rich diversity of the area. Yes. 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 And we have attracted 27 new businesses, created 177 new jobs, and renovated 11 buildings. Yeah. And Old Town Cave was recently uh, recognized by the Missouri Department of Economic Development and in 2004 received its National Main Street Program accreditation. Add to that the new $60 million federal courthouse and the complete restoration of the historic Marquette Hotel. And we can all boast that Cape Girardeau is back for all yeah. future yeah. generations. Yeah. Yeah. Another issue the city of Cape Girardeau has tackled head on is a lack of communication among the over 250 community and faith-based organizations. Thousands of individuals are involved in these groups, but lack of coordination caused duplication of efforts and wide service gaps. The Community Caring Council was started in 1989 by service providers, educators, business leaders, and clergy who wanted to fill those gaps and make it easier for families and individuals in need to access our local resources. The Community Caring Council created dozens of programs and organizations and provided the reliable information needed to assess our community's needs. Right. The council also identified needs in South Cape, a low-income neighborhood, and established the Family Resource Center to offer health and recreation activities for youth, families, and seniors. Uh, to provide access to affordable housing, the council has rehabilitated a large number of houses and also apartments. Yes. And they hired a housing coordinator who has secured a number of homes for needy families. The Community Care Council has improved the quality of life for all of Cape citizens. Yes. 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 Child abuse, sexual abuse, rape, and sexual assault, those are crimes that are just hard to imagine, let alone talk about. But whereas other communities chose to ignore this problem, Cape Girardeau put together a community organization to take care of young victims of this heinous crime. The CMO Network Against Sexual Violence provides advocacy, counseling, and medical care for victims of these crimes, as well as prevention and awareness training for parents, teachers, children, and law enforcement. Over the past three years alone, CMO NASB has provided over 1,000 children with medical care, and over 300 adults have been trained regarding sexual abuse, child abuse. CMO NASB makes Cape Girardeau a safer place for our children. Yeah! Finding opportunity there. 
Um, as we pointed out in our presentation, we're the largest community between St. Louis and Memphis, a distance of about 280 miles. We have a lot of economic development with Procter & Gamble, Rubbermaid, other plants, um, opportunities in high tech as well, and the kids are indeed coming back to seek and to secure those opportunities. Congratulations to all of you. It's, it, your excitement is palatable. Um, and, and I have to comment because I have to. It was in your application. As someone who runs an American Red Cross, congratulations to you for having the sixth highest grade of American yes. Red Cross. Yes. Yes. Um, your, um, your community uh, collaboration, the, the, the folks, the nonprofits coming together is a model that I think we all need to look at. Can you talk a little bit about how that continues to be sustained and have you found that in some cases you needed to create new programs, but when you talk about duplication of services, how do you go about saying to two agencies that are perhaps providing the same service, is there a way to collaborate together so that we're not taking those resources that may be competing against each other? Sure, are you not a way director and answer your uh, you know, that's one of the unique things about Cape Girardeau. Uh, we do work beautifully together. So uh, there are very few uh, uh, turf wars or boundaries. Uh, we are all in our, in our roles, in our work, or in the social sector world, we are interested in helping the people that need help. So we collaborate. We have no problem collaborating. We've had no issues. And that surprised me as um, uh, when I came into the back to the community 10 years ago. Uh, working with the United Way. Uh, we collaborate significantly with the Community Hearing Council and doing a community assessment to really dig into what the issues are, we created a number of committees, and engaged a number of people in working on what we have determined to be our critical community issues, and we have not had one problem anywhere in any group. Um, we have not had to tell someone that, you know, they should, or they should you know, go away or, or perhaps because um, everyone does such an excellent job at what they do. Uh, we need uh, every group that's out there. And, and it's, it's just part of the, the caring nature and culture of our community. We collaborate well. Thank you. I'd be interested in hearing a little bit more about the Community Caring Council. Uh, can you tell me uh, what the initial impetus was for that council? Uh, who gets the credit for creating it? How was it built into the apparently vibrant operation at present? Kansu was our resident expert on the <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the Community Care Council actually started as a state initiative, but Cape Girardeau was one of the original seven pilot projects in the state. Uh, the focus was to bring uh, the decision-making le making level away from the legislators in Jeff City, bringing it to the community, kind of a grassroots approach to uh, combining several state departments that put money into the community partnership uh, principle and appointed people in the community to take charge of the community rather than letting the state legislators make decisions for us. We've come a long way. We're now one of 21 in Missouri. We'd like to see more uh, because we have over 100 counties. Uh, funding has driven some of that. And some of it is just some communities are just not ready to do that community collaboration and networking that we have uh, taken up for, upon ourselves to do. We did have a state legislator uh, who founded our council, who very much supported us from the get-go. She is retired today, but we still see her at meetings. We still see her at the state capitol promoting our council. You know, we started in homes. We had very humble beginnings. We started with a budget of zero. Uh, we continue today to struggle sometimes with funding, but we have community re support, we have United Way support, we have federal support through grants, we have state support through the legislature, and also through some grants. So while our money streams are never the same from year to year, we have maintained <laughs> and, sustained, and sustained our ability to engage the community. Great. So I infer from that, that that your projects are locally determined and implemented? Very definitely so. Yes. So your budget is your responsibility. The budget is our responsibility. And we, we tend to, we serve as fiscal agents for several organizations that don't have nonprofit status. We, uh, so that we can incubate programs that we ourselves can't do, but that somebody else can do. So we're a leader in that way also. Thank you. Uh, there's two ways to look at you all. You know, one way is to say, 
that atom split and all this energy is running out here and it's not organized. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the other way to say, boy, these people generate a lot of energy and that carries over into his projects. How do you, how do you uh, get from the business sector, the governmental sector, the nonprofit sector to work and include your youth in that process? Our Mayor Dave Nixon. First of all, thank you. We appreciate that uh, that way that you view us. That was what we wanted you and how we wanted you to view us. Um, thank you very much. I am the mayor of this great city, and as you can see, everyone is very capable of speaking to their respective areas of influence. It's a it's a wonderful city. We have broken down barriers in Cape Girardeau um, that I think are unprecedented. We have figured out. And it sounds so fundamental and so basic, but we figured out that it doesn't do any good to have any kind of parochial attitude and uh, any kind of any kind of turf wars, as we alluded to earlier. We work so very hard to bring everyone together, and it, there's a there is a citizen outcry in Cape Girardeau that I I believe is, is very very special, and I think a lot of mayors would like to think that their cities do, and a lot of cities do, but there's just been kind of a, an uprising of citizen involvement in our process, and it has served us so very well. And along with that, sir, comes the uh, the kids. Our kids understand that investment in community. Our kids understand that that's a way to separate yourself and to be very, very powerful when you bring those synergies together. So we're proud of that. We work very, very hard to get everybody on board, and, and I believe that we do a very good job of that. I'd like to add to that, if I may, something that wasn't in our application because it's so new um, to us is that in recognizing that our youth are so important to our future uh, and to now, um, we looked into a uh, Habit Youth Development Committee as part of our community plan that came out of the community assessment. And through that, we did some research and looked at, uh, found something called the 40 Developmental Assets through the Search Institute. And uh, we have just launched our own uh, Thrive initiative in our community in March this year, uh, focusing and educating the whole community on their role in supporting and encouraging our youth. And I think this will give birth to many, many new opportunities to involve our youth. We created a Youth United Way about four years ago, where we have 15 youth from high schools, five different high schools uh, in the area, just do the, they mirror what our, our United Way board does. I know the Red Cross in our community also has a youth board. Uh, we have youth representative on our Old Town K board. Uh, and uh, uh, youth, many youth are very engaged. Our, our high school youth are excel in many, many ways. Uh, but I think we'll find many, many more opportunities as we get more actively uh, engaged in our 40 Developmental Asset Initiative. I, I wanted to follow up on that a little bit. I saw up here something called the Downtown Kids Association, and I was just curious whose idea was it that kids needed to be part of downtown, and Steve, why? Steve Hoffman was our, our Old Town K Board Director. Uh, thank you. Um, we have a program in Cape Girardeau called Leadership Cape that trains future uh, business leaders, and they do projects every year. And uh, several years ago, one of the groups came to me, I was president also at that time of the organization, and uh, they wanted to do something downtown, and we were just brainstorming ideas. Uh, the leader of that group had had a background with the Boy Scouts, and I said, there's an idea out there in Main Street that we had looked into a number of years before about bringing our youth into the Main Street organization, which we call Old Town Cape, and was that something he was interested in, in implementing? And he said, well, he'd think about it, and he went out and he talked to some youth in the um, in the high schools, and uh, they were really excited about it. They, uh, the the uh, the group did it as their project, and uh, these are usually visionary kinds of things, plans for the future, ways of improving the the city. Uh, when that group presented its plan, uh, they presented a, a completed project that uh, that the group had been organized. Uh, Old Town Cape had changed its uh, bylaws to elect a youth representative, so. A uh, member of the high school is a voting member of our board, just you know, just like anybody else. And they organize their own activities. Uh, they've done a, a movie night that goes hand in hand with one of our Tunes of Twilight uh, events. And they've done downtown cleanup and, and, and uh, 
trivia night and things like that. In fact, uh, the uh, president of the uh, youth organization, they came up with the Downtown Kids Club name themselves. Uh, that wasn't something we imposed on them. Uh, but I believe that she won a United Way uh, Leadership Award uh, for her work in the community and with older kids. Kate Gerardo, we thank you. Okay, that's terrific. Let me get back a little further. Yeah, that's, whoa. <laughs> Good. Do you guys want to say anything like your name of your town, your city? Great. One more time. Where are you guys from? That's going to come later, that, for me anyway, I'll tell you what I'm feeling right now, is the pride of all these people that came all the way out here, that worked so hard to represent their city. I, I, we've already become an all-American city in my mind. Now, I'll tell you what, it's going to be tense, it's going to be nervous, we're going to all be on the edge of our seats, because we don't find out until tomorrow night, but I'm telling you what, I think we got this thing won, and when we do, City of Cape Girardeau, it's going to be that little spit shot polish on the shoe. You know, we've got the cleanup cape effort going on and our, our regional uh, anti-litter campaign, the landscaping efforts. It's all about branding, Tracy. You know that. And this is just kind of the icing on the cake to really set us at another level. So it's fantastic news for Cape Girardeau. It's great, and the citizens can be very proud of everyone that's here. Thank you. So, Tammy, um, tell me, you as a community member, what, what is it so special about this that made you decide to come and be a part of this big celebration? Take time out of your life and your work to come and give your time for this. Well, you know that I'm passionate about caring about kids in our community, and I'm so blessed to be able to work at the Network Against Sexual Violence and to be asked to come and represent all the children of our community. How could you turn that down? You know, children deserve a voice, and I'm happy to be their voice and make them heard all over the world that they're important and valued, and blessed to be in the Cape Girardeau to do that. And you do such a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Hey, Any characters want to talk to? You got the, you got some community people. Uh, you have any? Uh, we have a t our town crier. Like keeps us are awesome. Uh, Let me get another shot of him. Right? Daryl, going to college. Do your official. Not an official. Oh, Trout. 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 Oh, Trout.
minute about um, for our video for our stuff. Felix, I don't know if you know, but he was a hurricane victim who came to Cape Girardeau and made it his home now. So um, he's staying with us. So Felix, t just tell me what is it about Cape Girardeau that made you decide to alter your life after and, and make this your permanent home in Cape Girardeau? What is it that's so special about Cape Girardeau? Okay. That you would move there and then come with us here all this way to California to do this for our city. Very good. I tell you, Cape Girardeau is a, a very unique and an unusual city. Uh, they show a lot of love. Since from the time, from the moment I got here, I've been shown nothing but love and caring. You know, it's, it's almost like a, a, a newborn baby where you would. You know, instead of just, just setting the baby, the bottle down on the table, they, they bottle fed me the whole time I'm here. And it was so good to me and my son. I had my mother and my uh, uh, sister and her kids flown here so they can share uh, the, the beauty of Cape Girardeau. You know, uh, we went, we've been through a lot with Hurricane Katrina and all in New Orleans, but out of all of the experience that we went through, I think the most important thing that we learned was that people care, and I mean truly care to where as they uh, welcome us with open arms, with unconditional love. And uh, the love that they're showing us, I could do nothing less than show the love that I have and appreciation back to Cape Girardeau for my, fa my family and I. And uh, again, I, I like to thank the city of Cape Girardeau and the state of Missouri for allowing my family and I to come here and, and be a part of um, all American cities as well as being a part of the family of Cape Girardeau. So uh, again, I thank you. And if, if at any time my family or myself can do anything to help Cape Girardeau or the state of Missouri, we're here for you. We are so glad you're all. Thank you. We're thank you very much for having me. That's great. Had you brought you in, you didn't really know what All-America City was, and we kind of brought you in and, and uh, trained you and told you about what it works, and then you had to create this vision in your head based on what we told you. So how do you feel like, <laughs> first of all, how do you feel about the presentation we created, and how do you feel about the way it went over today? Well, I had no uh, frame of reference for it, so right. I think that actually worked out to our advantage because I was coming at it from a theatrical perspective, and the... Uh, and all the other communities seem to be very similar in their, in their method of presentation. And so I think that that actually is going to be the, the best thing because I came at it looking at it as a 10 minute play. And how can we tell this information in 10 minutes and do it theatrically, dramatically, that we can, uh, you know, that we can make it fun to watch and that it's driven forward. And so, uh, and even like with the costumes and everything, that, uh, you know, the first thing they said is, they, they told me, they goes, oh, everybody's going to be in khakis and blue polos. And I'm like, ooh. I mean, that's, it was, uh, that was, I, I, I thought, Aren't we supposed to be doing diversity? Aren't we supposed right. to be talking about all facets of the of our community? And so that was one of the very first things that I said. Well, I said it needs to be. Why don't we think of it as a sea of voices, a sea of people, and a sea of visual images that collectively tell the whole story of Cape Girardeau? And that's the approach that we took. Yeah, and, how it, and how do you think? And how do you think it came off? Yeah. Oh, great fun! I mean, I, I really think that they enjoyed it. All of these non-professional yeah. actors. Molded and sculpted, well, and everybody you know, but, nailed their lines. Yeah, and, but you know, they're, and I didn't really, they're not act. I, we were never asking anybody here to act. We were simply act, asking them to play themselves. That's exactly right. In, maybe in a different costume than they normally wear, but, but they were playing themselves. And uh, with that, you know, they, they, <laughs> They had to sell their line, but not necessarily acting per se, because that would have been way out of their comfort zone. It probably would have been defeated the purpose of this presentation anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye.